welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today if you are new here and you like everything Disney then please consider subscribing to my channel I have literally just reached a thousand subscribers and this is what today's video is all about on how I got there and the journey so far so I really really hope you enjoyed today's video but normally my content is all about Disney and Disney tips tricks merch and all of that jazz so please come and join my family so like i've just said i'm going to be answering some of your questions what i actually put on uh, instagram so i put a little poll on instagram just asking you if you've got any questions about going onto youtube if you were thinking about uh, being a youtuber what it entails and all of that and if you wanted me to answer some of your questions then I'm here and I just thought that by answering some of your questions may help you and I'm here to help everybody and especially if you're wanting to come to be a Disney vlogger and a Disney YouTuber then I'd love to help in any way I possibly can. So I've got a few questions here what you have provided me with and I just want to say thank you to everyone who has and yeah you really helped me out. There's some of these questions where I didn't actually think of. Um, telling you in a way so it's really really good thing that i put a poll out and i got your own questions so let's get started so the first question was is how long have you been on youtube to get to a thousand subscribers well i actually came onto youtube the 11th of may last year um so we're in february so it's been around about 10 months just just over 10 months i think it is um and it's been pretty quick to get to a thousand but in a way it hasn't as well sometimes you do feel a little bit lost in everything you feel like you're not growing you feel like you're doing all this content and you're not getting anywhere but it does happen it just takes a little bit of time and patience to get to that mark I know when I was first started on YouTube and it was like first kind of five, ten subscribers, it was a slow progress and I was like, oh no, I've just spent five hours editing a video and I've got five views on it and I just thought, is this for me? Is this something I really want to do? And for many months I was umming and ahhing about it, I thought, is it really for me? Do I really want this? It's a bit of a pain that I'm not growing and if I could tell myself um, what it would be like now, all I would say is it takes time, it takes a lot of patience and you've, you've literally got to be, you've got to go in it like you're not going to grow <laughs> because if you go in it with i'm going to get thousands of subscribers i'm going to get thousands of views i'm going to be the next um hike out there then definitely don't think that way because everyone has to work from the bottom up and unless you are a superstar or you've already got a substantial um, platform. So say if you've got an Instagram account with a million uh, followers and then you have a YouTube uh, channel, then you may get your first thousand within a couple of days. Uh, but if you haven't got anything like that, um, then you it, it is a slow progress. And you may get somewhere if you get a film, uh, if you get a video what goes viral, you may get your first thousand within a couple of days of that um, video going viral but in the initial thing and keeping realistically is that asking me how long it takes to get to a thousand it it varies for everybody but for me it's took 10 months to get to a thousand and we're still going strong we're still getting there slowly still is slow progress and i just need to carry on with that so i hope that helped you on that question so the next question is uh what is the most important thing you need to know when you are starting a youtube channel well <laughs> there's lots of things to think about and there's lots of things to do I'm no expert when it comes to YouTubing. I've kind of just learnt as I've, I've, I've gone, really. Uh, but the main important thing I would say to you is don't have high hopes. Have little goals. 
because when I first came onto YouTube, I thought that I was going to get hundreds of subscribers, hundreds of views on my first video and it simply doesn't happen unless I've said before you've got all those platforms and you're already sub substantial in those um, in those platforms. But if you're not and you're new to everything, then it takes time. So definitely I would say is be realistic on your goals. So when it comes to um, when you when you put your first video out there, just have a goal of 10 subscribers and maybe 10 videos and having that little step goals will not set you up to fail in a way because it's so easy to get yourself hyped up and you're so excited on your journey that you will soon come crashing down because if you're not getting those views, you're not getting those subscribers, it's really difficult. And also I would say as well along that question is try your hardest to not get hooked on the numbers. I know that's so difficult. It's been really difficult for me to not get hooked up on the numbers. But if you're not seeing your subscribers go up or your views or your watch time, it can really get you down. And that is just constantly looking on your uh, studio and just having a look of how many this and that you've got and it really can get you down. So what I would say is if you are a first time YouTuber, have small goals and make sure that you don't get hooked on the numbers because I know how difficult that can be but try your hardest not to. So the next question is and I don't actually think somebody uh, watches my channel but they gave me a nice little uh, comment anyway, um, a, a nice little question anyway and they said to me is how many times do you upload a video a week obviously if you follow my channel you'll know that I upload three times a week this is not everyone's kind of goal in a way not a lot of a lot of people can't put three videos out there a week they, they just can't it's just not manageable but for me I don't work a full-time job mine is very home orientated childcare and all of that so I've got that time so I can really sink everything I've got into my channel but I know a lot of people have other commitments like working and all of that jazz so you can't have that many uploads but definitely try and have at least one video a week just so you're not forgotten about in the system because we all know when it comes to YouTube there's massive competition and definitely if you want to be a Disney YouTuber it, it can be really difficult and it it's overwhelming of how many people there is and how much competition you've got so I would always say try at least one video a week but I do three and that's purely because of I, I've got the time to but I always say try and do number try and do one I started off with one and I really wanted to pick my game up so then I turned it to two and then I thought no I've got more time I can really hype my game up so that's when I went to three and for me now I could easily do five a week if I wanted to but I have actually got another channel I've just um began and that's life with samantha and i upload twice a week on that so i just thought if i did five a week on this channel it would be a little bit too much and my viewers won't be able to catch up with all of the content i'm doing so i thought i would do my disney vlogs three times a week and then on my other channel i've got to what is non-disney so if you wanted to have something a little bit non-Disney, then you can, that's on my other channel. So the next question is, how often do you do a giveaway? Now this varies, sometimes I've only done three giveaways uh, since the start. So the first one was my, I think it was 200 subscribers with my first um, giveaway. And then my second one was, I think it was about 600 um subscriber giveaway and the one i'm literally just doing and that's a 900 uh subscriber giveaway so uh, i've only done three but i think sometimes that can be good to just not have too many and don't have and don't have too many giveaways just because 
sometimes and all the time those uh, subscribers what will come to your channel will only come and subscribe for that giveaway and they don't actually want anything to do with your channel they don't want to see your content or enjoy your content they purely subscribe to enter into the competition so they have a chance for that item but I do love to give uh, giveaways on every so often to say thank you uh, for your support for joining me and enjoy my content but you do sometimes get those people where they will only uh, subscribe for that giveaway and you don't want too much of that on your channel so definitely I've only had three in the past uh, thousand subscribers so not too bad but I wouldn't do any more than that so the next one is and this is a nice one actually and it says what is your next goal for the next year so i think a lot of people think that i've been on my youtube channel for a year and i've got the subscribers in that year but i've only been on for 10 months so if i stick to what is my next goal for the rest of this year then I'll, i've kind of made sense because i'm not actually on my uh, second year yet so for the next coming months to reach to a year i just want to continue uh growing my channel um, i am on a uh, thousand subscribers as you all know but um i do need four thousand watch time to be monetized and be accepted in the youtube program um so if no one knows that you actually need a thousand subscribers and you need four thousand watch time to basically start making money on youtube and apply for that so i'm so close it's unbelievable but i do think it's going to take me to my year mark to make it to that four thousand i'm really really hoping by my year mark and my next goal is definitely going to be is to be monetized so i'm hoping by may end of may i'm really really hoping by end of may i will be monetized on youtube so that is a massive goal for me uh, so yes that's probably the most biggest goal i've had in the whole year of being on youtube just because my first goal was just to get to like 10 subscribers and then it was like 20 then 30 and then 100 and then 200 so i've really picked up my game but right now the goal is to obviously be monetized but when it comes to my subscribers i will still only go um 100 by 100 so right now it will be 1100 subscribers for my next goal so i'm still not having those massive goals to really deter me and make me feel bad because if, if i'm not reaching my goals in a, a good amount of time i'll start to get really annoyed with myself so i have to give me some leeway and just those small goals every single time so the next one is is how much does it actually cost to be a youtuber well being a youtuber it can be as expensive or as cheap as you possibly can it all depends on your kind of budget and what you actually want to spend on your hobby and all of that for me personally when i first started on youtube i did it with my iphone so the camera it was my iphone camera um and i had no ring light i had nothing like that and i didn't invest in any camera until i was around about 100 subscribers it was something like that it was purely so i could get the grasp of do i want to do this is it something i'm interested in i didn't want to buy a camera and then not be interested in a few months so i really made sure this is something i wanted to do before i proceeded to buy anything and i got the canon g7x it's a vlogging camera most vloggers do have it it's a really good vlogging camera and that was 400 pounds from curry's and pc world and i brought myself a ring light which was 80 pounds but they are investments what is going to last me a long time and i've used them today and i've used them for the past nine months now um so that's really good and when it comes to like um and when it comes to two buddy you don't have to have two buddy a lot of people don't have two buddy but um if you don't know what two buddy is it helps you with your tags and getting the right tags on your videos and stuff like that it just helps you to put your video out there a little bit more um and i, I pay about 15 pound a month for that 
but you don't have to have that at all you can have other software where that help you with your tags and they'll free things to use but for me to make it quick simple i went for the tube buddy and i have the canva i think it's canva that's it and i pay 10 pound a month to that and that really helps with my thumbnails i use it for everything to be honest i I made so much with that and I've really got my money's worth with it. I'm always tinkering away on it. I'm always trying to make new designs for my channel and I really do get my money's worth and that's £10 a month. So it's really up to you what you want to use. I do know with Canva you can get it for free. You don't have to pay for it at all. There's always resources you can use on there completely free. But for me, I wanted to open the whole settings, so that's why I pay it. But you can easily have that for free as well. You do not have to pay for that. I will also leave some links below if you are starting a YouTube channel and you really want to kind of find out this stuff. So I'll leave some links to TubeBuddy and uh, Canva so you can just see what they do and you can get a feel for it yourself. But that's what I use anyway. Oh, the next one is, did you start Instagram or YouTube wait a minute what's it say did you start youtube or instagram first i started instagram first because originally i just wanted to share my disney pictures uh, my little my love for disney uh, my disney bags disney um everything i really wanted to share that with other disney lovers so i decided that i'll do an instagram account but then it wasn't fulfilling everything I really, really wanted to do. And somebody just said to me, why do you start a YouTube channel? And I didn't think of it until then. And I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be confident enough. I don't know if I'd be, like, consistent enough. Um, yeah, so, I, and I didn't really have the resources for it. All I had was, like, my iPhone, and my iPhone was piled up on a chunk of books on my first video. So, I didn't have the um, stuff for it, but I just thought, why not just, just kind of, like, take the plunge, do a few videos, and see how it went. And I'm so glad I did. I'm so, so glad they recommended it. So, yeah, I started my Instagram first. And then I think it was a month later, maybe a month and a half later, then I started my YouTube channel. And I'm so, so glad I've got the two platforms because I can always share my, my pictures and my love for Disney through Instagram and gaining followers and other Disney lovers what may come across to my youtube channel and love my content as well and that's happened so many times i've had so many people comment on my youtube saying i've come over from instagram i think your content's amazing and they turn into subscribers so it's always worth having a few platforms i see just to kind of get your name out there a bit more so yeah instagram and then youtube so that's what i did first so the next question is i'm getting to the end of them now i'm so sorry if i'm keeping you but the next one is is how do you think of your videos for your youtube channel and i've had actually this off my husband because he's actually asked me before how do you keep going how do you do three videos a week and not and not be stuck on content and I've never actually thought of it before because I've got so many ideas in my head. It would take me a decade to get through them, literally. Um, but every month what I do is I write down what I'm actually going to be doing for content that month. And then I will kind of get ahead of myself. I'll make the videos and then they'll be uploaded on my... Um, uh, and then they'll be uploaded on YouTube and then they'll be ready for people to view when they're being released basically. So I always have a backlog. So I've all, every time I come up with a new idea, I'll jot it down and then I'll make a plan of what I'm gonna be saying, what it's gonna be all about, how is this going to um, be an advantage of someone, is it gonna help somebody in their Disney trips, um, all of that. So I always make sure I, 
if I have an idea, jot it down straight away because I forget so easily and then I will plan of what I'm going to be doing for that month. I also as well to get some ideas, I ask my Instagram, so like I keep saying is always have a second platform, so Instagram is really good to put a little poll and you can put um, like, I put one other day actually and it said would you rather have a Disney snack video or would you like a DIY no glue pair of ears? Because I'm not sewy at all. And a lot of people, it was, it was literally like 50-50 it was at the end of it. But then I knew that that's another two or maybe three or maybe even four videos I can produce by just those two subjects. So it's really good to have a good plan, backlog them and always have that kind of... Um, so you're not stuck for any ideas for videos and that's what I've done from day one and that's how I can produce three videos a week by just doing that. And the next one is how much money do you actually earn on YouTube? This one's a cheeky one but I'm not actually monetized yet on uh, YouTube as I said in the previous questions. My goal is by the end of this year I would love to be monetized so I can start earning a little bit of money off uh, AdSense um, on YouTube but in no means is it a lot, it's not a lot of money. Um, it probably will only pay for the outgoings for my to buddy and my canva every month so that's only around about 25 to 30 pound a month ish but what i've heard that when you are monetized that youtube will only pay you when you have earned 100 pound a month so say if you have earned 30 pounds one month and then you've earned i don't know 60 pound the next month you won't get paid a month until you reach 100 so it could take three months before you reach 100 pound so I don't get paid for anything for YouTube at the moment and I cannot wait until I do just so I can so YouTube and that can start paying for itself and it's just a little bit of money for my hobby and yes that's something I really really want to achieve in the next coming months and the last question is, I told you I was coming to the end of this, and the last one is, is do I get much hate on YouTube? And the answer is not yet. No, I don't. I only, I've only obviously got a thousand subscribers. So in the worldwide web of YouTubing, I don't really get much hate as such. I've had a few comments, but I'm the kind of person where I'm really thick skinned anyway and I'm not really bothered what anyone say. I'm enjoying what I'm doing and I'm giving people the joy of Disney and that is all what's bothered to me. So I don't get much hate at all. Hoping it stays that way, but the more people, more eyeballs what come onto your YouTube, the more um, negative eyeballs you're going to get in a way. So I'm prepared for it. I'm not too fussed about it and we're just going to keep going. So guys, that is it. That is all the questions I got from you on my Instagram. If you are watching this, I want to say a massive thank you for giving me those the questions. It means the world. Some of those questions I didn't actually think of myself and they're really, really helpful in a way that they can um i can share that with other people and hopefully help people if they wanting to come to be for an example a disney youtuber and these are kind of like for everybody they're not just for a disney youtuber but i just thought i would share my thousand subscriber kind of journey with you on the tips i've kind of um in the months what's just gone and i really hope that it's helped you and if you haven't got a youtube channel that it, it it encourages you to maybe have your own YouTube channel. So let me know in the comments, guys. Have I helped you? Was this helpful? Have you took anything from it? This video was just purely for my own experiences and for my own uh, thousand subscribers. I'm no expert. I don't know what I'm doing in a way like other YouTubers where they'll give you... Um, advice on how to get to a thousand and how to get to a hundred thousand and all that i tend to not really know any of that i'm just going by my own experience so guys 
if you haven't already and you really really enjoyed this please consider subscribing when i reach 2000 subscribers which is probably long into the future i will put another video so i can continue this and just give you a little bit more maybe tips of what i have found in the way if there's anything i've done different what's helped then i will always tell you guys because i like to keep my channel real giving you the ups and downs and all of that but yeah this video wasn't obviously to do with disney it was just to do with my journey so far and i really, really hope you enjoyed it if you do follow my channel and you just wanted to hear how it's going on so guys that's all i've got for you and remember go to my new channel which is life with samantha and i love for you to subscribe to that as well and join along there but for now that's all i've got and i'll see you in my next one bye